There is no hell in the Old Testament. We were already going to heaven in the Old Testament. That would have been a better deal than Jesus. If we don't accept him, we're going to burn in hell forever. That's bribery. And they hid the lost books of the Bible and told other people to burn them. They put them in clay jars and animal skins and they were found. And they talked about no judgment and reincarnation. Yes, you've been here before. It's right in the Bible and it's under your noses. Jesus said, hey, when you baptize, I mean, excuse me, Jesus said, hey, when you killed John the Baptist, that was Elijah. I sent him to come in the spirit with power. And what did John that Baptist did? He got his head chopped off. What did Elijah do? He killed people with the sword. That's why the Bible says to live with the sword is to die by the sword. That's reincarnation. One spirit in two different bodies. John and Elijah. You've been here before. Jesus said, I do not judge nobody, and neither does my father. And now he's this angry, pissed off God going to burn you and harm you forever in hell? You Christians put conditions on God's love. That's unconditionally love. You better knock it off. Condemnation is a devil. A trinity is a devil. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. You know what, Jesus? baptize you in the Holy Spirit when you get filled with the Spirit and speak in tongues. God is holy. That makes him the Holy Spirit. So knock off the three-in-one bullshit. You're going to go to heaven. Think about it, dear children. Jesus said the prostitutes are going to go to heaven over the religious people. A, a prostitute is going to heaven. Jesus said so himself over you Christians who go to church every Sunday. Jesus thinks a prostitute is more holier than you. And you know what? Everybody is a child of God. Jesus said, when you go visit people in prison, you visit me. So who is the people in prison? The murder, the rapist. He thinks they're just as equal. Are you getting it? Lay down religion. The Catholics told us, close our eyes and bow our head. You don't have to do a damn thing. Read the Bible, go to church. You're still going to heaven. Because the Bible says, all spirits came from God. All spirits will return to God. You can't return if you haven't already been there. You know how you came? God was this big light and he puts in tiny little lights. And that's how you came. Because he wanted experience. Will God put himself in hell? Your spirit is actually God. And when you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, it's just a spiritual awakening experience. So God ain't going to put himself in hell. Get out of religion. Catholics tell you, by your head, close your eyes. You don't need to go in a prayer fast. How many times did Jesus fast? Once. How many times did Jesus fast? Once. And y'all think y'all more holy can outfast Jesus. God is not paper, but spirit, and a letter kills. God is a spirit, not a found in the Bible. Hell came in the second century, added to the Bible. Go do your research. Everybody's going to heaven. Everybody. And Jesus never said go to church. He said go to the highways and hedges. I go find the homeless people at convenience stores, gas stations, and I say, hey, you know what? Do you want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost? It's free. You don't earn it like you Christians teach. You got to repent of your sins. Go get baptized and you get the Holy Ghost. No, it's free for anybody that wants it. And I baptized the drunks and I got them speaking in tongues and they didn't need to repent. It is free. You just got to want it. Contact me privately if you want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. 
and then I will show you how you can interpretate your own tongue.